rocks to bring our campus. I bought uh, the engine, the coal car, and the transformer for my $1,000. And then I added on to it. Uh, I bought the caboose. The oil car, the gondola car, Timothy gave me the box car. And uh, this is Rod's engine running around it here. This engine I bought at Cowtown, it works. But this track, mm -hmm. I have to cut the wire and I put it back to here. Mm -hmm. We soldered this wire here underneath, and then it just disconnected somehow. It's not running at all. And rather than lift this up, we're just going to run the two tracks mm -hmm. here. But a lot of the houses I bought, I, I was in Morristown Mall when I worked there, and I bought it for like $15. I got six or seven houses. At the time, that, I knew it was a, a steal, basically. I didn't know what they were getting rid of. The supermarket's one of them. Those two stations are uh, mm -hmm. one of them. I, I would think these two houses back here are some of them. And then Ron, basically, Ron added all this other stuff. He, he uh, carved out a, a triangle point and expanded the platform, which originally was from here, out to here. That's why you have a space in the track. But all the holes where all these lights are and all, I did all that stuff when I guess Ron was about uh, a year old. One of them gets it. Whoever has the first branch out, I guess. <laughs> and the platform is three quarter inch plywood. I got it up at Green's Lumber Yard. I paid probably twenty-five dollars for the piece at the time. And I've had it ever since. The only car when I bought it at the train show, there's a gondola car, but the wheel must have been bent on it slightly when they sold it to me. And when you run it, it falls off. It'll run for an oval and then it'll fall off. So, we added this car. But my original train set was the engine, the coal car, the oil car, the caboose, and that black gondola car, plus the Lehigh Valley, the red car. Mm -hmm. But I score this upstairs. I don't leave it in the basement when the temperature goes from pretty warm to pretty cold. I don't want to take any chances. And this engine over here, the Spear to 76, I bought that when Ron was born. I over oiled it and I kind of, it won't run. I kind of ruined it, really. Oil on a, on a, a train engine is, is a dot, or hardly a dot. You don't know the oil. You know the oil, it won't run. Did you ever get off the track where you couldn't get at it? What was that? Did it ever go off track where you didn't, couldn't uh, get at it? Yeah, once in a while it will. Yeah. The screw on the one side of the black engine Will uh, has to be tightened from now and then. Uh -huh. I, I check it once in a while, but I'm gambling tonight that it's going to work.
and this coupler here can be hooked up to this track. And then when the train comes by, you hit the button and it'll disconnect. The thing I like about it is, I think it's 1950 something, whatever, when I hear the whistle. <laughs> Tracks and cells are about five bucks a piece. Construction? I probably invest with five hundred dollars originally. Probably, probably worth a thousand or more now. As years go on, you won't find them because they just they get bought up and they go into private homes, and you won't find them. Most of the work on the town. 